1963, the powers that be decided to remake a Shakespearean tragedy. Clevedon House became the stage set for a brand new production of Romeo and Juliet. The cast consisted of a Bond girl brunette, a huggy bear Russian, and a very British baronet. Keeler measured in tight and trim, like a figure eight cleat. Her Romeo was also nautical and neat, due to him being an attaché for the Black Sea Fleet. The opening scene began with a midnight swim. Keeler skinny dipped across the pool, like a fluid streak of liquid sin. With their spy sting, well, it stumbled from the start, when Cupid's dart ricocheted straight into Profumo's leather-skinned heart. Christine swan-songed a sorrowful tear, and Jack skipped back to that bronze star bravery of his military career. He took off his band of gold, borrowed a Bentley spur, and began riding around. Spending copious amounts of sugar daddy fold. He forgot about marriage vows and wedding bells, after taking a taste of honey hot and sweet from the oyster shells. The back channel spy from London's Devonshire Street also began to feel the heat burning under his feet. Dr. Stephen Ward had become trapped in a traitor's triangle, which was fast becoming even too hot for MI5 to handle. His honeymoon balloon party, well, it burst into a blood splatter over the privileged faces of his very critical Illuminati. This once handyman to the hierarchy now found himself ostracized into a very cold war, Castrati. Ward became persona non grata, falling from his star spandled strata all the way down into the dirt of a beggar's operata. Juliet, when she skipped town aboard a Spanish jet, then turned Queen's evidence by signing a deal with the Gutter Street Gazette. Romeo, he got a recall and a Russian reset. The Kremlin decorated him with the Order of Lenin for playing such a cheeky part in the game of Russian roulette. The British elite handed Ward their double-edged sword. He preferred the Shakespearean part and drank down the poison chalice for to mend his broken heart. It was to protect country, Christianity, and crown as to why the old guard had brought their iron curtain crashing down. The Thursday Club, with all its candid courtesan, they merely washed themselves in the blood of a lamb and then continued with their ever-so-salacious scam. Mm -hmm.